I am Dr. Nimai Chandra De, presenting today another video lecture on a very important discovery, photoelectric effect. In the, uh, it is in the series of quantum theory and this photoelectric effect is found to be most important to support the atomic nature of this electromagnetic radiation. It is the whenever a light, whatever radi radiation, monochromatic radiation of a suitable frequency falls on a metal plate, the electrons are ejected. And it is P, P is the electron collector, M is the clean metal plate. And this is the incident radiations, monochromatic, particular frequencies, and it is the ejected electrons. And this here is kept one galvanometer, which will record the current state that we call the photo current. And here battery, but this is the negative pole, and this one the positive pole, negative pole connected to this metal and positive pole connected to this P, the electron collector. When this arrangement is done, we call the positive potential. When the reverse connection is made, say this M is positive plate, positively connect, positive connect, positively connected, this M is connected to this positive pole and P is connected to this negative pole, we call the negative potential and uh, whenever this positive potential is given the electron is accelerated and attains this maximum velocities but when negative potential negative potential whenever the negative potential is applied uh, the negative potential is applied the electrons are retarded due to the coulombic repulsion of this uh, P plate and attractive potential of this attractive forces of this metal. If we increase this negative potential to V naught, then it is found that there is no photocurrent strength and there is no ejection of electrons, and this V naught is called the stopping potential. And this stopping potential is a measure of the kinetic energy of these electrons. E V naught, E V naught, the energy given, energy given to this electron to retard this motion. And this is equal to the kinetic energy half m V square and this is kinetic energy of this electron. So, the experimental observation as done by scientist Henry, these observations are categorized into four parts. One is the process is instantaneous. Whenever the radiation falls, the electrons are ejected, there is no time lag. Means the process is very instantly occurs. And two, whenever the frequency of this radiation have been kept constant. But the intensity of this radiation is increased, photocurrent strength also increased. If the I is intensity is doubled, then photocurrent strength is also found to be doubled. But the V naught, which is a measure of this kinetic energy of this electron, it remains fixed, remains the same. There is no change of kinetic energy. And the third, whenever intensity have been kept constant and the frequency is increased then V naught is also increased. That means the frequency of this radiation is directly related with this kinetic energy of this electron. Greater the frequency of this radiation greater will be the kinetic energy of this electron. And the last one whenever the frequency is decreased gradually then at a certain frequency, which is called the threshold frequency, nu c, 
there is no ejection of electrons and again the photocardiogram state that is found to be equal to zero. This nu C is the characteristic property of this metal plate used. And this is also figure we can show uh, intensity is double, the photocardiogram strength is double but the stopping potential remains the same in both the cases. Classical mechanics, classical theory of radiation fails to explain the, all these four observations, experimental observations. In classical mechanics or the classical theory of the electromagnetic radiations, the energy of this light beam depends on the intensity and frequency of this light beam. These are the two characteristic features of this electromagnetic radiation. So one is intensity, other is frequency. Intensity, hard the intensity means a hard the energy of the hard or more energetic of this light beam and frequency means the shorter wavelength, more penetrating and frequency gives the color of this light beam. So according to the classical mechanics all these four it is not possible to determine as the classical theory a light moves in a wave and the system absorbs this energy of the light continuously. So if the energy absorbs continuously then the electron on the surface of this metal will acquire the energy step by step, gradually, continuously and then when or the energy of this electron is sufficient to overcome the attractive potential of this metal plate, it will be ejected and there is no push. So this process should not be instantaneous. Second, whenever the intensity is increased means more energetic light beam is used. So it is expected that the kinetic energy of this electron will also be enhanced but in this case it is not or this experimental observation tells another story different story and the and the three whenever the intensity remains the same means frequency is increased means the kinetic energy is also increased but in classical theory frequency is nothing to do with this energy of this light beam so kinetic energy should not increase with the increase of this frequency of this light beam. So all this and the last one, the frequency there should not exist the threshold frequency of this, of this metal plate. As light is continuously absorbed by this electron, even low frequency but high intensity can be sufficient to eject this electron from this metal plate, so no question of coming this threshold frequency of this metal metal plate. So all these four are not uh, explained by this classical theory of electromagnetic radiations. But in according to the Maxwell, it was it was the it was the great scientist all time great scientist Einstein uh, realized the importance of this Max quantum theory, Max Planck's quantum theory and according to this the system will take up this energy discreetly in packets and each packet is called quantum photon and this energy of the photon totally depends on this frequency. So according to this Max Planck the quantum theory, energy of this photon directly related with this frequency and intensity means more number of photons, intensity means number of photons are falling per unit time on this metal plate. So according to the Einstein, according to the great scientist Einstein explained that whenever a photon falls on this metal plate, one electron will absorb the total energy of the photon. It is not that the two electrons will absorb one photon. One electron will absorb one photon completely. 
and energy of the photon is h nu and h nu nu the frequency of this uh, radiation is used and h is the Planck's constant this is the energy of the photon falls on this metal plate and electron captures this one a part of this energy is utilized to overcome the attractive potential of this electron by this metal atoms this this omega is the characteristic property of this metal hard if uh, the electrons uh, are tightly bound to this metal surface then omega is greater if uh, this electron is uh, very loosely held on the surface of this metal then omega becomes less and the rest of this energy rest of this energy uh, is utilized to determine it gives the electron of its kinetic energy so this is the energy balance according to the einstein this is very famous einstein's equations h nu energy of the photons part of this energy of the photons will be uh, captured by this electron and the and part of this one is required to escape to overcome the attractive potential and the rest is converted into the kinetic energy so when 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 uh, nu equal to nu c nu c uh, then kinetic energy half m v square equal to zero so putting this value we get the omega omega equal to h c h nu nu c putting this value the einstein's very famous equation now becomes einstein's very famous equation becomes like that h nu equal to h nu c plus half m half m v square energy of the photons and this is the work function energy minimum energy required to overcome the attractive potential of this electron and nu c is the characteristic of the metal plate and half mv squared is the kinetic energy of this electron and in this theory this equation explains very nicely whenever the uh, nu is same means energy of this photon is same intensity increase means more number of photons are, are falling on this metal plate more electrons are ejected and so i the i will be increased i will be increased and the third one whenever the intensity is fixed frequency is increased means energy of the photon is increased energy of this radiation is fixed increased so kinetic energy of this electron is also increased linearly and for one whenever the frequency whenever the frequency frequency less than nu c nu c this uh, energy h nu c this one this energy of the photon is insufficient to eject this electron from this nucleus it is all about the einstein einstein very nicely explained all these four postulates and uh, and for this, Einstein had been awarded Nobel Prize. He, uh, Einstein, has not had not been given a Nobel Prize for its theory of relativity or general theory of relativity. He had been awarded Nobel Prize for this explanation of this photoelectric effect. And uh, later, in in nineteen in nineteen hundred sixteen, R. A. Millikan Millikan. Millikan, very famous scientist, Millikan, oil drop experiment. Millikan actually quantitatively verified, verified this uh, Einstein's photoelectric equations. He put a half m v square, e, v square equal to E into V naught. And this equation is H nu equal to H nu C plus E V naught. The, he used different frequency radiations and the 
stopping potential also becomes a definite and this is the characteristic property of the metal used. So nu equal to nu c uh, plus e y h into, into v naught when this when nu is plotted against v naught he found to be a straight line having a sub intercept for another metal metal plate when he used he got the similar plot parallel to this line means said for these two different metals the intercepts are different intercept is nu c which is characteristic property of the metals but the slope will be the same uh, slope contain slope of each straight line contains this universal constraints and from the slope millikan was able to determine the value of h Planck's constant which is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second joule second actually this uh, photoelectric effect is very, was is very useful in different purposes for um, solar energy uh, in photo photoelectric cell solar energy is converted into electrical energy not only that photo spectrometer in case of photo spectrometer very famous instrument for determining the intensity of this light of a particular of a given frequency is also done by the use of this photoelectric effect and here i shall mention a small difference between the work function work function and the ammunition potential these two are not equal work function is less work function is less than the ionization potential as ionization potential is the energy required to remove this electron from this from this atom isolated atom in the gaseous state and its ground state when it remains in ground state but work function is the energy required to remove this electron uh, from this metal surface a metal contains the so many electrons surrounding and so these electrons will repel uh, the electrons to be ejected and so omega is less than the ip this is all about in for this experiment uh, and i i i shall be thankful i i i, I, I again thanks i again thank to the watcher or the viewers who actually with great attention watching this video lecture. Thank you all. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in.